Hey there guys, my name is Marcus and in this video I'll show you step by step how you can easily track your time with ClickUp and how you can do the time tracking in ClickUp. So the first thing what you want to do in ClickUp is go to the bottom right and you would click you would see these like four call for circles on the bottom right. You can simply like track time with here and you can pin the item or this is the first way how we are going to do it the second way how we can track time is when you would click on a task so let's say i'm going to click a task and you see the time track here this is the second way so i can simply click here and you have option to see timer and start the timer so also you see on the bottom right is starting counting then you're going to see the description and you can start the free trial. So right here, then you're going to see the labels. You can add the labels. So this is going to be a label for YouTube. You can enter a note. So this would be a, let's say um, this is a video yoga for beginners. So I'm like, recording right now a video and then you can see if it's going to be billable so when you have it you can let's say it's billable and what i can do i can stop the timer and here i can then click manual and when you have the timer you can add a manual time so let's say it was one hour And here I can have like when, let's say it was today, or I can have it yesterday. Again, you can add a description, you can add the label, you can make it billable and then click save. And as you can see, the time track changed right here on the top. Now, when we go even further, I can simply go on a YouTube channel on your list settings. And uh, where is the second I will show you? Add a comment. So here you can also see the time track of all the tasks right here. So that's what I wanted to show you. Now what I can do also the same thing. I can track the time right here on the bottom right. I can enter a time here. I can select a task. So let's say it can be timer. But here I need to select a task. So here you would find all the tasks and subtasks. You can search, you can browse them. So let's say yoga for beginners. I'm going to click on it. Or like yoga thumbnail. You can enter note, you can make it billable. And start time. And here we go again. And this is how we can pretty much do it. Now, again, it's starting, it's like calculating and Again, I can simply enter a time for how, how long have you been recording. So let this be like three hours, 40 minutes. Select the task. Okay. Then again, you can add a description, you can label it, you can make it billable. And you all see in the past how it worked. Now I can click save. And when you got it, you can simply again click here. And we, we can see that we got three uh, hours, 40 minutes. I can have a range here. So not only the manual one, but I can simply click on a range. And I have the start timer 11 a.m. to. So this could be like, let's say 10. 10 a.m. So 11 a.m. I can select the task and then I can simply click save. Now when I see it's going to be the one one hour right here and then the last thing you can make it of course billable if you want to. You can come here and you can delete the session. You can edit it and also you can see reporting in a time tracking dashboard. So let's say I'm going to so stop the timer click on the timer and see time tracking dashboard, add a dashboard 
and it's going to automatically create for you the timesheet. Okay, here we got it. So here, in the moment uh, when it's going to be uh, loaded, you will see the time tracking, the dashboard, and you have option to choose and uh, see how it tracked your time. So let's say you're gonna have the eight hours and you're gonna find your name here, the person, then uh, the thumbnail, uh, like the task here, then total, then it's going to be categorized. And then uh, as you as remember, we added one hour of yesterday, and then all of the other were for today. So we could see that for every single day, you would find it right here. If you can have multiple people here, you can uh, like search it and analyze it by person. That's pretty cool and pretty easy. You can edit the settings here and change the timesheet name. And that's pretty much it. So here you see uh, how it looks like. And you can connect it, of course, with uh, like you can have the billable time or show billable only, show only, not only billables. And that's pretty much it, how we can do it. You can refresh the timer and you can refresh the data and like that's pretty much it now of course you can also add portfolio task by sign you can add the widgets here in your dashboard so if you want to have it combined with time tracking so that's pretty much it if you're gonna have any questions guys uh, let me down in comments i'll be really happy to help you and provide some guidance and support you know how it goes, you know how it is. So this is how we can add time tracking uh, for your project, for your space and for your uh, list here. So thank you, have a great day and goodbye. See ya.